So to, so to answer the age-old question, in whose interest does the current situation exist? For the established artist. For the established artist yes, or for the established galleries? The established artist so and the gallery. Yeah. Yeah. I'd just like to add a little bit to that. The, the uh, problem with the boom, uh, when it happened in India, was that the space which was available to art writers like myself and maybe Anirudh also, in local newspapers. I think newspapers have a very important role to play in uh, taking art to a, a huge audience. Right. The art market audience is very limited. Sure. It's the same guys reading whatever you've written and then what they're looking for is the same thing. And who in India is going to buy an art magazine priced at 150 bucks? Right. You see, it, it is going to, it, the, the reach is going But in the daily newspaper, there's no dearth of cr coverage of cricket, right? There's yeah, plenty there of coverage. Yeah, but there is nothing about art. Uh, they, all they, I mean, Cricket's once covered. the boom started, once uh, uh, the reports in the Indian newspapers were for how many million rupees so-and-so's work has gone in Sotheby's or this or that or the other, they decided that there is money in the art market. If you guys want to uh, write reviews, get the galleries to give us an advertisement. You see, and the space for a proper review was completely uh, diminished. I mean, they would give you maybe two or three column centimeters. What are, what are you going to say in that? They would, they, I have been told by one magazine to say, okay, forget about the artist, you talk about who attended, and you know, it became a page three kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And as a result of which, and this situation has gone even worse now because you can actually buy space in magazines and uh, in newspapers. And yes, uh, which and and editorial space. Yeah, to, to, if, and it is not an advertorial, and it is not an advertisement, and that is what is really killing. It, it is a very unfortunate situation in India because newspapers it's all reach over the world. A, a whole lot of yeah. people. They come to know about what is happening. You can have a discussion. You can have, but there is no real serious coverage of. Well, Any kind of art. I, I think the, the, the broad general interest in art in New York also followed the money. You know, there was never, you know, the column that Carol Vogel writes for the New York Times started out as the art market. And it happened one day when, uh, when one of the editors of the New York Times said, oh my God, pictures are selling at Sotheby's for a million dollars, and we don't have a, a, a columnist covering the business of art. And now all of a sudden art news, art business news became Interesting, because money is the, always interesting. The right? Economic Times, I think, and a lot of magazines began to carry uh, interviews <coughs> with artists and all which, uh, again, it, 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 is, it is a narrow audience. Who buys the Economic Times? I don't know. Who does? I mean, as against the people who buy, uh, might buy the Times of India or the Lok Sata, which are other regular newspapers. Again, a small clique of people who would be interested in the studies and all that. So the Times of India has no arts coverage whatsoever? No, no. it doesn't. No art critic. It has no art critic. So there would be somebody who would say that there was this and so a such and such exhibition, there were 38 paintings on view and this one, uh, the, I mean, it's, it's it doesn't make uh, any it's sense. It's a reportage, yes. So uh, that begs the question then, if newspapers are, are out of the question, corrupt and dying institutions, Magazines are finding themselves of less, less, and less and less uh, importance, or their authority being questioned. Now, what has taken the place? Is it all internet? I mean, how how engaged is the art world now with uh, this kind of self-reflection uh, uh, activity that takes place on the internet, where everybody's an author and everybody's a reader at the same time? Uh, what does it mean when we give up those? traditional positions of authority that the editor or the curator uh, or the publisher had before and say, well, let's spread all that responsibility and authority around. Everybody's equally responsible. Then what happens? I think ultimately the market goes down. Mm, the market. I mean, really, I think, that, I think that yeah. Is that a bad thing? Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm not saying thing. it's a bad thing. I'm just saying that it's a difference. Is, it's yeah. a change that's yeah, it coming. It the furniture market. I mean, nobody talks about the furniture market. You know, in, in other words, you know, this, you, you go to furniture stores and there's no, you know, there's no New York Times columnist for furniture. I mean, Reviewing yeah, furniture. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's really what the difference is, right? I mean, artists. I mean, there's this notion that that, 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 that there's a, uh, I mean, that there's a sort of uh, higher or more interesting purpose to it, a more, you know, more textured purpose to it, and and and, and thus it, it, it is a conversation, right? And, and we want to, you know, we want to, we want to. 
foster that conversation. And, 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 and if it ceases to be a conversation, then it's just decor. Yeah. <laughs> you know? And for, you see, over the last four years, this Indian Art Summit has started. So that is another uh, place where exchange of ideas and artwork and news and all no, I, I think, you know, again, uh, when, when, we, when I started this conversation this afternoon, I said that our purpose here is to just play a role in getting a conversation started. <clears throat> but I can, we can turn that question around to all of you and ask you what is your role as, as artists, as people interested in art, in generating a more useful and, and, and valuable and nutritive conversation. I mean, you know, what can individuals do uh, in the absence of authority? Because I, for one, see the absence of authority as a terrifically positive step. Yeah. I don't see authority as being all that necessary uh, in terms of uh, playing uh, within, this, within this field. On the other hand, something has to take its place, some, some high-level conversation, because the conversation is interesting and important. There are ideas at play here. There are ideas in context. Yeah, I mean, I think that part of the problem is just the word authority is, is I mean, it's, it's being used too broadly. I mean, there's a difference between an authority that, 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 uh, that, that you know, that, that says this is good, this is bad, and this can, this can be in the, this, this is art, this is not, this can be in the museum, this cannot, versus an authority that simply is, 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 is somewhat democratic. I mean, uh, the critics are, are sort of democratic authorities. We, they, they only get to be the authority as long as people find them. Authority, right? They're not. They're not. They're not. Nobody. You know. They're, they're, well, I, you know I, I, I've seen some uh, some critics hang on for many, many years beyond when the consensus of their their authoritative authoritative position is you know is, is widely agreed upon. Yeah. Uh, so power sometimes is self sustaining. But yeah, but, yeah, but people, but people, I mean, but it shifts. I mean, when, when that happens, I think people start looking at other people. I mean, yeah. you know, I mean, whereas what does that do with the source of power. Yeah, for example, if we're talking about the Indian cultural scenario, uh, the newspaper for which I, I started off writing, which was known as the Statesman, in, which is known as the Statesman in Calcutta, which is the one of the oldest papers in the country, um, the critic before me had been there for about 50 years, and that being a paper of authority, it, he was he was pandered to, if you like. Of course. Yeah. And and pandering, of course, is is one of the great entertainments in the art world yes. to watch to watch that level of pandering take place or blowing smoke or whatever other term you want to you want to use absolutely <laughs> but no it's it. <laughs> obsequious fawning in some cases yeah no it, it's true but it's you know daniel it's like you were saying the other day there are people who you know uh, who naively and with all good heart will call you on the phone and say how do I get an article about me in Modern Painters? Right. Yeah. And you know, and, and what can you say? Yeah. Uh, yeah. And what can you say? Because you can't. You can't be like, well, be good enough to hear your Get get seen. Get noticed. Get my attention, but not by calling me on the phone, right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's. But it's. Yeah. It's, or or you know, curatorially, you know, and I used to see it all the time. I'd get letters saying, you know, how do I get in the Whitney Biennial? Um, I don't know if you have any <coughs> artist friends who say, hey, uh, Adam, uh, uh, you know, we go back a long way. Uh, can you put in a good word for me? Uh, and, you know, and you have to say, that's just not the way it works. I mean, you know, what do you do in situations like that? You know, and how can an artist understand their way in? I mean, how do you find your way in? You, it's not a, a magic formula. You can't say, Continue practicing harder. Well, you, so you said get better. You said in, right? I mean, and this goes back to your first question: the job of the artist. Really, there, there are two. There are two slightly overlapping worlds right now for art, right? I, I mean, there are the, there are, there are, there is the art as, as sort of higher decor, which is which is the market, but you know, at, at its worst level, and and there is art as social activism. Um, and, and, and these two worlds are, are, are diverging increasingly, um, in, in, in part because of, 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 uh, of, of all the forces we're talking about. And they're both honorable, honorable professions. Agree, to make. I think there's no more one art market there. Yeah, you're definitely right. different art market. I think it's an old model to talk about one art world. I think there are many yeah. moments, yeah. different worlds which are existing. Yeah. Well, furthermore, too, instead of that as a corollary on that, we're not talking about the persuasiveness of a system, we're talking about the dominance of a system yeah. over other systems. Mm -hmm. yeah. And going back to my idea of autonomy, 
uh, and whatever that means. It's your responsibility to to develop those systems yourselves. I mean, um, but in the but in the face of you know enormously hegemonic forces, sure. and, you know, what is an individual artist to do? But what you're saying, how do you get in? I mean, in, in, some, in some sense, you're, there, there's two ins, right? There's, there's there are those you know you might want to you might want to get involved in, in certain institutions, you know, and 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 be and be you know a, 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 that's a very different world, you know. Why are we involved with this recipe of? Yeah. Of how to get in. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah. I'm not talking talk about what important what ideas are yeah. the important ideas well, of the day. It, sure. It, we, we might say that, but the question that that remains on the table is you may be engaged in a discussion, your work may be engaged in a discussion of the most important ideas of the day, whether they be life or death <coughs> ideas, maybe uh, complex spiritual or transcendent ideas, but if those <coughs> ideas can't become part of a broader conversation, no, if the tree falls in the yeah, forest you, you, and yeah. no one hears it, no how does it make a sound? No matter how few people are yeah, here, also you can start it right here, right yeah. now. In the same way that we're saying, well, where are those kids showing in the bathroom, uh, uh, you know, well, some place they can just walk into and put a, a, a great historical show and, and know, make their own magazine. And make it happen. Make so we can do that right now, but it's, what's interesting is that this is not the first panel that, that I, I see this happen. The, the power of the of the, the of the of the of the of the greed of the fear of the of the of the, the, the academy it, it is so uh, pervasive that it, it 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 like kills all conversations about real content. It's always about conversations about the structure. We have become very good at identifying the structure, uh, but but let's get back to I really agree. let's get back to the, and even like when you said this, you you made a little distinction there between. Uh, uh, the art that it's part of the social of the of the um, yeah. decor industry, yeah. the decor of the of the mechanism, and then you said the, the social activism. I would I would beg to differ and, tell, and say that the social activism is part of the decor too. Uh, yeah. So here's an idea. Well, I think they're all, yeah, I think they're, yeah, they're not mutually exclusive. Yeah, no, no, they're not mutually no, exclusive. They're, they're just a, just poles. Yes. So the poles well, are but they're not poles anymore because they. <laughs> Uh, the social activism and art has become part of the selling technique. Mm -hmm. um, they used to nice. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Because, because, set yourself on fire. Because it's a, <laughs> it's a journalistic <laughs> term. how you want to define the term. Yeah. So I mean, that's the bigger that, philosophical question. So how do we get back to art? Oh, but, um, but, 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 I, I, but I, I think it takes the same energy for young people to try to get in a system. Uh, it takes the same energy to do your own system. So it's and I would do my own system instead of trying to get in a system. What is with, with, let's shift gears. Let's 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 yeah. talk about the content. Let's, what yeah. what should we be talking about, right? I mean, you just brought up Tunisia. Let's let's. What are the important ideas? I mean, you know, you know, I mean, it's the important idea of, of of this moment right now, the the emergence of popular democracy, and how that changes our ideas of of self governance and the role of the artist. In new, in new societies. You know, what is the role of the artist, as I was asking you before, in the new Egypt? What is the role of the artist today in Israel in, you know, in overturning the kind of racist policies that govern, uh, you know, the, the relationship to, between Israel and the Palestinian nation? What is the role of the artist in the United States in terms of overturning, you know, decades of imperialism around the world and, and, and those kind of activities? What is that role? I mean,